Now let's go in cryptos. We are going to start the crypto review now. Let's look with an overall uh, crypto market review. So total three. Remember the total three is a view for everybody in crypto to look at the altcoin. That means this is the entire crypto market cap of the entire crypto universe minus Ethereum and Bitcoin. So it's a good view of the entire market. So we are going to see that we are still within the blue. Remember, for new people, blue means we buy. Why? One third, one third, and one third. That means here you have 66% chance of making money. And if it goes up, it goes up, total three goes up, goes up towards the top of the edge of the Lawrence field. You have only 33% left of probability of making money as of now. The probability premium rule of third is showing you on total three from the current price to the top. You have 75% chance of still making money. But I think we should look at total three like this. Put a, a, a line in the middle of the double top, somewhere here. And I think all you want on total three, since we are close to the blue, on our indicator, which means you have 66% chance of making money on total three. It means to me that the outcomes are still very much alive, but I want to see this little channel tank a little bit more for the next few days or few weeks, reach the middle part here of 2021, 2022 middle part here, because that becomes huge support. And then and then you have a huge upside on total three, which means the outcomes. So I think it's not unrealistic. If you look at the overall crypto market and we take another 15%. So look, how many, what's the market cap here? It's 469. We want, we want 468. What is that? 469, 468. Hold on. 414, 468. So let's, lay, let's say it's roughly 15 to 10%. If we could get another 10 to 15 percent drop, that would be amazing. If we could even get also Bitcoin from where it is 42 test that 37 to that 35.5, that would be a, an amazing opportunity for everybody to, to re enter the total three here, which would be your 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 crypto so this is a, a, a beautiful chart and what i look on that rebound i'm going to look at something a little bit different i want to see if we see a new ethereum dominance to bitcoin this time even though there'll be a lot of bitcoin buy if you look at that ethereum bitcoin charts you can see that bitcoin has underperformed a lot see you do your channel, you do your structure line, lower high, lower high, boom, 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 lower high, lower high, lower high, lower high boom, boom, boom. I think if we can get one last drop on Ethereum there, one last retest, one last low towards this 1921.75, right? I think we are going to see on the next move with Alt 2 and Alt 3, a dominance like we are going to see where Ethereum is going to finally get out of that. All right. So this is going to be interesting. Watch that. This is going to be interesting for the overall crypto market uh, things. Now, Bitcoin, we've done that. Let's look at Ethereum quickly. Price prediction and analysis. Ethereum is smack in the middle. So if you didn't get Ethereum when I told you, by the way, if you came in that stream for the past two weeks, I told you, get Ethereum, get Ethereum. That was when it was at 2,100, 2,300, 1 to 2,700. I, I think still that it's going to hold this higher low trend line. But notice that the higher low trend line is possibly going all the way to 1,800. 
So it's not completely unreasonable to think, not only it's 1800, but if you look carefully, it's also the edge of one color scheme to the next color scheme, the gray area, which are very important point of reference. So the important reference points on the calculator, probability calculator at the top here, the top here. That being said, look, we still have 55% upside with a two-year two look-back period on Ethereum, even from where we are right now. But I would not mind if it, it, it could go 1900, you know, that 1900, 2075 would be, would be really, really a great area for, for Ethereum because, again, from where we are, the risk ratio to the 1900 is $400. To the 2035, it's about uh, $175. That's your downside on Ethereum. But look at your upside. Your upside is 3,200 edge, and the other edge is 3,700. So 37 and uh, 32. That means that you are risking 400 to 200 to 175 to make a thousand to make $1,000 to $1,500. So this becomes really a three to one, a five to one, and possibly a 10 to one risk ratio trade on Ethereum. And that's, that's, that's how you have to think about things. You know, you have to think what's my downside, what's my upside, what's my downside, okay? Hey, can you guys hear me? Can you uh, comment? So this was the, uh, price prediction. Good morning, Travis and Mark. It's good to see you, everyone. So this was Ethereum. Now, let's go to Solana. So Solana is tricky because I had some Solana at 26. Got out a little early, unfortunately, on Solana at 78 and the 100 area before I went to 120. Now I want a re-entry on Solana. Well, obviously, if you look at the tools, the tools are extremely accurate. Look, they got a top here. They got almost a top here. It's getting toppy each time you go 127, 150 area on Solana. And ideally, I would want to have Solana around the 50. So if you, even if you put a structure line, a trend line on the last Solana move, it's going to go like this, and it's going to look right in the middle of the 50%, 50% chance of success for Solana price prediction of about $65. So I know I want an edge here at 48.50, and there's a 65 trend line. So I know already at that point that I have this line here from the probability power indicator on this line, plus I have the trend line. So I have a 65 and a 49. And if we could get that on Solana, it would be really, really good. Because then after, I know I have a three to one risk ratio to the 150. And I know people are doing price prediction on Solana that Solana Sol is going to go to 300, 500. Look, I love Solana. I love the project. I love the ecosystem. It shows on my scanners as a great opportunity. But right now, it's not a great opportunity. You missed the boat. I mean, you were at 18, then we were at 26, then it went to 130. This thing, this thing did almost 10 times of money, guys, right? This almost did a 10x of money. So if you come back to Earth and you say, okay, now there is a down channel where there is a, people are selling at lower prices on Solana, then perhaps we will have an opportunity on Solana to grab some Solanas between that uh, 49, 58, 65 area with a price target back up of the 155, which gives you a, about a 2 to 3x. And you, you cannot see that's the thing. You can talk about crypto all day long and you can talk about realistic probabilities. If you want to talk about realistic probabilities, stuff that are 
been tested with real money, real account. That's what we have with Solana. And I love the project, but I'm not going to project the project at 500, 300, where the tools are clearly telling you 49.65 is the re-entry point and 155 is the retarget points to make money. And that's how you are going to make a lot of money on Solana. Next, price prediction for ICP. I really like ICP. I talked about ICP last week. People were like, what the heck is ICP? It's internet computing. It's it's really interesting. It's a project out of Switzerland. I think ICP is going to be amazing. And I think people are going to wake up to this project finally. Uh, great. I got this project at six bucks. I still own a lot of them. So I am vested to tell you that <laughs> I feel it's a great proof. This is all disclosure purposes. Shoulder on ICP here, you know. We have a double bottom that started here. Then you had another double bottom. And now we're coming back and we're breaking the trend line. So structure line on ICP. Put it like this. Put it like that. Then you look at the previous eye around the project, which is around this 960. So if I could buy, get back the ICP reentry around 9, Nine, nine to eight fifty, where everything converges: the upper trend line, the middle trend lines from the previous double uh, bottom middle path, plus our edges on the gray, which happens to be roughly at the ten twenty. That's where we're. So I want to see if we could get a nice CP retracement like this. Same idea. Between eight fifty ten. Then we're on our way to 22, 32 on ICP. And I have also a price target. If I change the look back period on ICP, because everybody said, come on, Mark, they got to be more juice. Same on Solana, by the way. It's about changing the look back periods. If I look the look back periods on ICP, the next target, let me show you will be here. No, I gave you the 26, sorry. Here, the middle part here, 87. So 87, 79, head and shoulder. And that's it. So people say, oh, this thing is going back at 1,000. Look, that's all I can give you right now. It's 79, 32 edge, then calculator, second long-term calculator investment is at 17, right? So we need to pass that 17 to go to 32.79 with a clear entry between 8.50 and 10. And we are coming back here. We are retracing from the 16. We're at 11.40. We were at 10. And this is a really, really interesting project uh, uh, that is going. In, I believe ICP will be in the top 10 crypto project. You know, I've made a lot of research on crypto project because it's cool. It's interesting. Even though I am a stock investor, you can see my quarter million dollar portfolio in previous power indicator video, which by the way, no one shows you stuff like that. 